guys Mike G with the MDG collections on hand today ladies and gentlemen a day after I got my drag radios installed on the new rims it is raining so what are we gonna do just like the title says we are going to test out these drag radios in the rain uh, people will tell you you cannot drive uh, with drag radios in the rain it's 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 very dangerous to do but you can do it if you take your time and just go slow uh, the channels on the tires are very thin uh, and they're not as deep and they don't have a certain pattern to be able to break away the rain so so you come to a lot of hydroplaning if you get at high speeds on very slick roads in the rain in a nutshell common sense if you're running drag radios in the rain you just need to take your time I just want to see how these brand new drag radios do in the rain I haven't done any burnouts they are literally brand new I just drove on them for a little bit yesterday and I want to take care of these tires as long as I can so as you guys can hear and see there is a pretty steady downfall of rain all right it's not super heavy but it's not extremely light it's respectable I think for this video so let's just see how these bad boys do I am trying to go to my guy to drop off my stock rims so I can get them clean properly in ceramic pro so that's gonna be the trip that we will take so let's go all right so the real test will be when I jump on the highway and get at higher speeds to see how they handle on the highway as this rain is still coming down All right, so jumping on the on-ramp right now. Downpour is steady, as you guys can see, and we are entering the highway onto the on-ramp with drag radio. So just to be safe, I will stay in the middle lane just to be safe. In the left lane, there is usually puddles. So easier chance for me to hydroplane in the left lane gonna happen but here we are in the middle lane in drag radials wheel is steady as you can see the speed that I'm going right now most people even in regular tires are gonna drive a moderate speed uh, you always got some idiot that wants to drive like a maniac in the left lane thinking you know their car is gonna handle so perfect but so far so good I would say just the short time I've been driving I mean I can pick up pretty quick how these drag radials will handle they handle pretty good I mean it's not a super heavy rainstorm but I mean the ground is extremely wet as you guys can see and I don't feel any different from these compared to my other tires the Ditto 555s or the Pirellis that come on the car to be honest with you guys I really can't feel a difference would you want to step on it right now and try to just gun it and start to take off? I don't think so. But as far as just a regular drive like this, drag radios handle pretty well in the rain, if you ask me. My wheel is not shaking. Of course, they are brand new, so I'm sure that helps. All right, guys. Wanted to be hands-free on the highway and I mean I was on it enough I was on the actual highway long enough and, and I got the feel long enough to just say that the drag radios performed extremely great on the highway up to 55 even 60 miles per hour they were really good so now I'm on just the regular street and I'm going to give you guys a couple of little quick accelerations and just to see how they how they how they feel how they grip Let's try one right now all right, a little spin. Definitely a little spin. Once you start to feel it spinning, you just get off the accelerator. I mean, I have ESC on, I have traction control on, so had I went just a little bit more, it probably would have gathered my my spin, but it definitely, uh, you, I mean, this car has a lot of power, so they are definitely not made to just launch or try to launch, even at a roll, so you just need to just go steady and you, and you should be fine for the most part, as long as you're not down to slicks. 
with a drag radio that you've basically done burnouts on over and over again. So that's my take on it. All right, so here are the actual drag radios on the rear with 315s. I'm here at JMB. I'm going to drop off my stock rims that are in my trunk and one is in my back seat so he can ceramic pro them. But the rear replica 11s by width are on the rear right now with 315 tires. All right, guys, gonna go go ahead and end the video right now with another piece of me driving on the highway so you guys can see uh, closure on this. Drag radios on the highway in the rain going 43 miles per hour. They, they handle pretty good. You just gotta be very careful. You can't do anything crazy as long as you're driving the speed limit and not doing anything aggressive, you should be fine for the most part, especially if they're like really brand new. So that's gonna conclude this video. Uh, just hit like a slight puddle right there. I didn't feel anything different from what I would feel with regular tires. A slight, quick, half of a second hydroplane. I mean, it was super, super fast. Just like you would feel if you hit something in regular tires, just like I did. I mean, it wasn't like I completely started to spin around and lost control with drag radios. So that's gonna be it, guys. Drag radios in the rain. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be a wrap.